Hello and welcome back to my let's play on Total War Free Kingdoms of Leah Bay on Legendary Difficulty. It's been a uh, over a week, almost a week and a half or so since I played this campaign. I'd recorded quite far ahead, but I'm actually yeah, almost out now. Um, there's a couple of things I've learned since last time. Uh, many comments have been commented. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Um, and other things I found out through watching people and reading up on stuff. Uh, one of the most important things is that uh, we, of course, have the ability now to instigate a civil war. This doesn't do what I was hoping it would do. It doesn't actually make part of the faction mine automatically. It literally does cause a civil war. Uh, Tsai Zhong would be going off, taking some of the land with him, not sure exactly how much, um, but taking some of the land with him and then... Uh, his previous we would actually not be allied to him at all anymore. We would be allied still to the former person um, Which is I guess the faction era that would be now which is uh, fucking someone I don't even know um, But either way so yeah, it, it wouldn't work the way I, I thought it would work which kind of sucked So I don't even really want to do that because it just makes me weaker because it would get rid of a uh, part of an ally basically which makes other factions think I'm weaker um Another thing I've learned, right, about marriages, apparently they don't need to be in the same army, or at least not, like, she she, she can be employed. Um, which just means that Liu Hu-min, who I was married to for a very long time, just didn't give me any kids for no reason. But people have made it very clear now, despite all the comments earlier saying they need to be in the same army, or they can't, she can't be in her own army. Now it's completely turned around, and we are 100% sure now that it doesn't matter where they are, they can still have kids. Uh, so that's a thing. Um, other than that, what else have I learned? Uh, right, that guy... <laughs> I fired someone at some point, which was a big, big deal, according to a lot of you. Uh, he was the person that introduced me to... Um, or that set up the event, I suppose, to go meet, meet Zhuge Liang and uh, the other guy who is now a spy. The Pang Tong, the fledgling phoenix, I believe. Um, yeah, he, the guy I fired was, uh, was it Zhu Shu or something? It was something like that. Um, apparently he was a big part of the story and I just fired him outright. <laughs> After I got him from an event, people were mighty upset about that. I'm sorry, I'm still learning who's important and who's not. Usually people say, like, if they come from an event, like, in the top, in, on the left, if it's, like, an event, it's usually an important person. So, yeah, I'll, I'll try and keep that in mind, but... I know some of the story, I, I, again, I watched or listened to the podcast, but I only got a chance to listen to about 35 episodes, and there's 150, so I, I just, <laughs> and I haven't got time anymore nowadays, I, I'm running out of time. Um, so that was one of the more important things I learned. A lot of people also complaining about corruption, but that was something I'd already fixed in later episodes, or at least I was working on fixing that in later episodes. Um... But yeah, that was, uh, that was something that came up a lot, is people saying, you need to fix your corruption, that's why your income so shit. But I have been working on that already. It's still high, I think, in some places, but not as high as it used to be. Um, yeah, like there it's 35%, here it's 27 So yeah, we're definitely working on it. It was like 60 or 70% at some point. Um, assignments, right. A lot of people commented, I should just be hiring random people to put on assignment. Because, like, it's only a thousand bucks per turn, but some of them have... Uh, assignments they can do which will reduce my corruption or increase my income or, or by in some way uh, Sorry, not even a thousand bucks per turn. It's it's 200 and something per turn or or even a hundred depending on how much of course uh, they cost um, But yeah, it's not a, it's not a lot of money actually to be wasting on that and then the assignment will likely give me more money So I really should be recruiting some of these people um, Some of these are most certainly spies. I mean we looked at that uh, a couple times and I was definitely like I mean, this person being from Matang, this person being from Jia Long, who's currently my enemy, so he is, you know, this guy's a spy. Um, not, not even, uh, not even like considering him. But this person from Matang, probably a spy too. Uh, but it's my vassal, so I'm not too worried about that. Speaking of Matang, though, uh, and my vassal, that's something I've been considering as well as getting rid of my vassal, um, because. I have seen a lot of people have issues with vassals. The way it currently works. Oh, I also I should also say I'm on the beta patch now. There was a beta patch the other day that which I'm on now. Um, 
uh, which reduce it, it fixes you one shot to some degree. They're still testing it, but it's going to fix them a little bit. Probably it has zero effect on this campaign, but it will do in future campaigns, which means I'm going to start my going to campaign now. Um, but yeah, vassals. Apparently, one thing that's super annoying is that if the enemy attacks your vassal and you decide to help your vassal, but you have previous treaties with the person attacking your vassal, apparently you're the one who's dishonorable, so you lose loads of honor uh, from it, essentially. Which is such a weird thing, because obviously that's not the way it should be. You can also, of course, uh, use that against the enemy. If I wanted to uh, declare war on Sunjan, but I don't want to actually deal with the fact that I have treaties, previous treaties with Sunjan, I could just attack the Han Empire, because he's, that's his vassal. And I might not have treaties with the Empire, Han Empire. I might actually, actually as well, but that's the point, basically. If I didn't, I could attack him, and it wouldn't do any have any uh, problems for me. So that's another thing. Um, but yeah, so the point is that I'm probably going to just let them be. Uh, I'll lose a little bit of money per turn, but I'm not a huge... I, I don't really care too much about keeping them my vassal. As long as they don't declare war on me, it's all good. The only problem, of course, being with that, that if I let them be, then someone else might vassalize them, which kind of sucks. But I don't even know if it's dishonorable to, uh, le like, liberate them. It makes them very happy is what it does, so maybe I can get a piece of territory out of that, actually. That would be interesting. This copper mine is... is that this one? Voodoo? Yeah, I think so. They can't give anything from that. Do you even want to do that? No, that's not nowhere near worth it to you. Um, I can get a, I can get a bunch of money from them, I guess. Not a whole lot, apparently. I guess they're already... oh wow, they just don't, haven't got any money. <laughs> um, <laughs> I guess I can call them to arms against Hunt, and that's completely irrelevant. Oh, wow! Even if I'm, <laughs> even while I'm like letting them be free, I liberate them. Apparently, this is a 0, 0.0. Although actually, no, it does change things a little bit. Uh, but yeah, I think I'll do this. I'll I'll see what I can get out of them exactly. But that's probably something I'm going to do. Uh, liberate them because I don't want to be pulled into any wars. I don't want to be a part of. Um, another thing I'm I think I'm likely going to do, but not necessarily something that I learned or anything. Um, but. I know people have been complaining about me playing a bit, a little bit too passive, and I'm sorry about that, but you also have to understand, this is my first legendary, this is my first campaign, my first real campaign on this game. I played a couple before the game released, obviously, in the early access build, but it was nowhere near this. This is the first time I've ever gotten to this point in the campaign. I don't watch any other Let's Players, really. I watch, like, videos sometimes, but I skip through them. I don't really watch Let's Plays. Um, so this is my first campaign on this game, really. And it's on legendary difficulty, and I don't know exactly what I'm doing. So you, you gotta also, you know, give me a little bit of slack for playing it a little bit safe. And, I mean, to be fair, I'm a safe player in general, so even if that wasn't the case, I'd probably still be playing it safe. Um, but, you know, a, a campaign or two from now, I'm, I'm not gonna be playing it as safe anymore as I am now. Uh, the point I'm going towards, though, is that I'm probably gonna pull my armies back. We hate um, Gongshin Zan still, so, and I'm, we're still at war with this guy. Uh, and our relationship with Kong Rong is dwindling as well. So I'm, I'm starting to think that perhaps I should clear up the northeastern part of the map a little bit more uh, before I go to war with all the big ones. Uh, some people said that I shouldn't have gotten peace with uh, the Kingdom of Zhu because I was apparently one turn away from Chang'an, which of course if I take that, I will then... Actually, no, I don't think I will own the Han Empire because that doesn't work anymore in, in this. But yeah, it would have been nice to have that town as well. Probably shouldn't should have done that. I don't even know how many episodes ago that was, but... You know, there's a, I make mistakes. I'm a human being, all right? So, anyway, point is, um, I'm going to pull my armies back a little bit. I'm going to keep these ones around here, though. Some people also, or one person at least, commented, if you take the capital of an enemy um, emperor, they immediately abdicate to you. But that's not true. Uh, I looked that up, and that's just not the case. Uh, otherwise, I could easily recruit another army here, just run there, take that, and then boom, I own all of Sun all of a sudden. But that's just not going to happen. Fuck me, owns all the way down here, though. That's kind of scary. Um, anyway. Can we play the game now? I think that's, that's probably a good idea. I'm still going to go on the offensive with you, I, I think, against, uh, this, uh, against Han Fu. I think we're okay to do that, especially if I'm pulling my armies back. I think we're fine uh, to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and... Maybe even sprint there. I could get attacked in the forest, I guess, but I can get there next turn probably if I do this. It's currently harvest, which I mean. Oh, there is an army there. Well, if he attacks me, that's probably okay. It's not a full stack, so we should be alright. Um, so you're gonna be pulled back, even though we're right here next to Zheng Zhang's land. We could just go over here, take that. Um, I wouldn't mind piece of her, 
But I don't think she wants it. He wants it, but she doesn't. Okay. Fair enough. But yeah, I think we're just gonna pull back because this army's just a bit too far off by itself. So I'll pull you back towards Liu Dai. Um And then we have we have this army over here. Uh there are quite a few uh Kingdom of Zhu armies in my land, which I'm still a little bit worried about. There's at least two. There's three. Well, this one's not in my land, but it's close enough. Um, so we got to keep an eye on them as well. So I think we're going to um, we're going to keep this army around here somewhere. Then again, if I only bring that one back, I guess I'd have two armies there. But I'll keep you around here for the moment, I think, just in case. And then we'll, we can always bring her back up that way if we need to. Uh, then we've got, of course, our army over here, who I guess is going to go on the offensive against uh, Jia Long. I was initially going to consider going that way and then going around that way, but perhaps I'll go south first. Uh, the thing is that, yeah, we have this place here, and they could very easily get here. To be fair, they could very easily get here as well, but there's quite a few lands in between, whereas here, they can just sail up the river and land here and take Badong. So I think we're going to go that way. That said, it probably still is faster to go all the way around. Yeah, it definitely is. I could take the Toolmaker on the way right now with a bit of unity. So you know what? Let's do that. Which does bring me closer to that guy right there. But oh well. In fact, we're not bordering that problem. So we'll see what happens in the end turn sequence. Uh, what is corruption like here? 59%. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. Even if I upgrade this, it doesn't even give me that much. It gives me a better garrison. I guess I'll do it for now. I might need to look at what I need to do. Because again, I'm going to recruit some people as well this turn. Um, okay, so this place is going to be food. Actually, well, it's mostly peasantry, but also food. So let's build a government support building here. Just so we're building something. I need to build loads and loads of buildings, to be fair, but... I mean, most importantly, is recruiting those people. Okay, so your army's been moved. I, again, I'm not particularly happy about these armies doing absolutely nothing here, but so be it for the moment. We'll build a grain storage here, I think. Uh, or we want to just build the administration office. That's probably just as good. Maybe better right now, to be honest. Um, yeah, we got the food buildings. All right. Let's... Um, Let's recruit some generals, I think. So army-wise, because yeah, this army is also still just hanging around. Because I just can't afford to get out of here. Because we're surrounded by Sunjan. If I take this army all the way up here, and then I get attacked here, it just takes way too long to get back. I know I don't like having two armies sitting here doing absolutely nothing either. But for the moment, that's just the way it's going to be. Uh, so let's recruit a couple dudes. Let's have a look at their former... Gongsun Du is the latest one. I don't think... Well, he's 54 years old already, so I don't know how useful it is to have him. You are to Chai Zhong, who's my mate, so I'm not worried about that. Also, you're good at... Uh, that's administrative. Never mind. I'll still recruit you now. Han Lian. Uh, it's Chai Zhong as well, who's also my my boy. It's my boy! Um, a lot of faction-wide stuff, if you were my faction leader or whatever, which you aren't. So I guess I can recruit you too. You're 37 years old, sure. Uh, I wanted to get Chi Zhu, I think. So we'll get him as well. Fatigue resistance. It's personal, I assume. He's relentless and loads of instinct. Uh, he's from Ma Tang. Zhang Yan. He's not my enemy right now, but it could still be a spy. Definitely not getting you from Jia Long. So this guy would be the last one I could possibly recruit. And I think I'll take him. He gets me loads of money from commerce as well. Okay. Then I'm going to... I'm going to release... I'm going to do this. I'm going to release uh, Ma Tang. You will be liberated. Wait, hold on. Is there an... I can annex him. Wait, you can just do that? That costs stuff, right? Ma Tang doesn't like it. Yeah, well, it's a bit irrelevant, isn't it? Holy sh... Shit, I'd be super treacherous if I do that. <laughs> it's a treachery condemned by everyone. Also, it's a heavy burden on your administration, so you're not be able to repeat it for a while. Um, okay, so yeah, we have... <laughs> oh, wait, have we guaranteed their independence? Or breaking guarantee shortly after making it? Okay, I think we probably guaranteed their independence. 
Oh yeah, we did. <laughs> Alright, no, we're not gonna do that. Uh, I think we can, I mean, we have the actual, like, unifying is different. If we do that, it doesn't have any diplomatic impact. But normally, yeah, annexing is a pretty big deal. Alright, not doing that one. That is cool, though. So you can just literally, if you vassalize someone, you can be like, well, you're mine now. That sucks for your, for your, your, your trustworthiness goes down the drain, and it's probably going to take absolute ages to do it again, but still, that's pretty solid. Um, okay, so yeah, we'll do this. I don't know if I think I can get any money out of it. Maybe I'll just do this to make him my mate. Um, I can't call him to arms against Han Fu. It does reduce that a little bit, but not by much. I guess there's no real reason. Common sense. It doesn't make any sense. Why would we go to war? I mean, yeah, it doesn't really make any sense. Do you have any um, ancillaries? Nope, of course not, because you're an AI. You don't really get those. Um, I'll just take whatever money you have right now, I guess. How much do you have? Not a whole lot. Give it all. I give it all up to you. And I'll take your regular payments, too. Whatever you have, my friend. That's it. That's all you have. Okay, fair enough. Um... I wonder if I should pay f for... Let me check that, actually. What if I take this land? I don't even know what it is. The iron mine. Copper mine, sorry. So that'll be 13 to get to make up for that. People also constantly told me to give weapons away, but I'm pretty sure I did most of that already. I noticed I have that one, but I don't have any champions, so... Uh, how much How much to make this work? How much if I uh, would, would I have to give you? Quite a significant amount. Yeah, that's gonna make a little, be a long time before I make that back. Never mind the land. I'll take uh, I'll take all the money you have. Don't declare war on me for a while. All right, here's your independence back. Ninety bucks per turn. All right. There you go, friend. You better like me as well. Yeah, going towards forty-four. Gave me back my independence. Don't really like him for it. Alright, then we've got all of the... Uh, yeah, these people. I got her as well, and him, actually. That can currently go on assignment. And and Sun Ren. But I might want to keep some generals available to um, to do something with. Right, so we got the income from peasantry, income from industry, uh, commerce, replenishment. So this is... Okay, we'll probably keep her available for recruitment. Uh... Peasantry, and then you've got peasantry income from industry, income from commerce with minus six food from reserves. Or minus six reserves, not food actually. Is that food? Yeah, that is food. Uh, minus 15% income from industry. That's pretty good though. Han Lian. Okay, well, let's see where we have the most money. Again, sorry about the slow playing. Uh, so we want the biggest, like, number, not the percentage. 280. 500 from industry. Okay, well, Dong is probably our best one for industry. So anyone who's going to do industry, do it here. So that'll be, I guess, you're 30% or do you want 50% from peasantry? I don't think we have more than, like, anywhere near that much from peasantry anywhere. I think peasantry, the highest, is like 360 or something. So I think Dong industry 500 makes more sense. So let's put you there. Boom. And then do we, oh, we can't do the both at the same time. Okay, so we don't want to do that. So anywhere where we have loads of commerce, then actually, does Dong have a lot of commerce? Uh, Three hundred ten—that's probably one of the highest numbers as well. So why don't we do stimulate markets here? Uh, and then we've got another—we got a load of peasantry ones. Peasantry, peasantry, peasantry. Okay, so anywhere where we have anywhere decent peasantry, <clears throat> definitely not in Dong. Two eighty is pretty high, so probably in Chen. We'll just shove one of you in Chen. We can't do more than one in each province anyway, so. Uh, 235, that's only 50, 160, no, we already checked that one. Uh, 280, yeah, we'll put one in here. We can also do, I mean, yeah, commerce and industry might be pretty good as well, though, to be fair. Let's, let's hold off on that. Um, so I'll put you in there, Chi Neng. Okay, so anywhere where we have high industry and, oh, that would have been better, well, too bad. High industry, no, high commerce and industry, with commerce being more important. So yeah, it's 50% and 15%. Uh, so anywhere where we have like the highest commerce, basically, income. Which currently... 
I don't have that many that are full on commerce. 310, that's probably the highest. Uh, but it needs to have a good amount of industry as well, otherwise, there's no point. Uh, this one doesn't have any industry. Um, maybe I'll just use the peasantry income then. I think that's probably the best one we're gonna have to get, or we're gonna be able to get. That one's pretty good. In Guan, yeah, we got three hundred and two or 330 and two hundred. We lose the money from the reserves, but that's okay. I don't know if that's actually the best option we have, but fucking let's do it anyway. All right, cool. So now we got uh, we got one more assignment left if we wanted to use it, but that's all right. Okay, we got a little bit of money left over to spend on upgrades for buildings. We got free places where we can build something. Um, we definitely need more food. Uh, it's, we only have three buildings to build. We have not really got the happiness here. Let's just increase this building here. Fuck it. All right. I can still build this building too. Yeah, fucking go for it then. It's free. It's free real estate. Uh, anywhere where I have a temple. I don't really want the temple anymore, but I guess we, we need it here. Because happiness here is still an issue. Probably because I'm upgrading this like mad. But eh, whatever. Um, okay, I think that's it for now. I guess I could do some undercover network stuff with just empowering trade. Uh, with anyone who isn't him, because I want to have that available. If I want to cause a civil revolt, then we can just do that. We can just empower our trade a little bit. Uh, actually, you want to do... I'm gonna build undercover network. Commit. And then, because that gives us more of that. And then we want to run interference to get our cover up faster. And then we want to build undercover network again. And then we can just get that up super fast. So now we're on 84, and this one's going up way faster than before. That's pretty solid. Okay, cool. Uh, and then we are also general. We can cause a military revolt if we needed to get this army out of the uh, out of existence very quickly. I don't know where he currently is leading, but he's definitely somewhere. In fact, he must be in one of these armies here. Otherwise, I couldn't see him. Right? Wait, that's my ally. Wait, no, that's Matang. Where? Um... I should be able to see that army. Hold on. Where are you at? You are Pang Tong. How do I see that? There must be a way to see that. Oh, hold on. Here we go. Down there. Oh, he's in one of those armies down there. Uh, was it this one? Yes. Ooh, that's pretty good. So I could get this army out of existence very quickly if I wanted to. Uh, it would, of course, you know, make him not reliable. and Like, they would know he's a spy, but oh well. Oh well. We can handle it. Okay. They're still going south. Did they attack that former capital of Sunjan? I'm not sure. I'm not so sure. Han Fu is not attacking me. Our income still went down quite a bit. Jia Long got a piece to you, Zhang Zhang. Humility. Alright, we got satisfaction for Zhu Gu Liang. Sounds good. Oath Sworn with Wu Wang. Nice one. We got uh, Tian Jing. Oh, I didn't mean to skip through the buildings, but all right. Tian Jing, who are your previous loyalty to? Who is your previous loyalty? Xiao Long, yep, yeah, nope, nope, you're definitely a fucking spy. All right. He, uh, he is on his way to try and take it. I don't know if he's going to be able to do it, though. There's a yellow turban army in the way. Okay, let's see here. So I guess you can attack this place, right? Yes, it's uh, slightly in my favor. It's a close defeat though. Alright, well we'll siege them out. If they come out, I think we should be able to win that. That's not a bad army though. Crosswoman as well. It'll be a tough battle actually, but winnable. This guy is the one, yeah, with the fucking Dreadbringer. That's pretty good. Alright, continue that siege. 
And also, possibly... I mean, well, he's not going to go for it, but... No, he's definitely not going to go for that. Okay. Um, you were on your way home, so we're going to just... I guess we'll land you here. Make our way home as fast as possible. Okay, we've got... Uh, yeah, this army here, I'm just not sure about. Do we go south to, you know, handle these guys in case they do declare war on me? Or do we assume our garrisons are going to be enough? Fulnaba. Or do we go north against Gongshinzan, which is something that will likely happen? We have two armies there already, but Gongshinzan's got a lot of armies as well, so I don't know exactly how to, that would work out. I have Liu Bei's army around here, and I can also get rid of this army in a heartbeat if I want, if I needed to. So I think that's something that we keep, need to keep in mind as well. Can I reach Ba? Yes, I can reach Ba. I can also reach this large town, which I'd like to take, but... I, again, I need to go down this way to my iron mine, I think. So we're going to take Ba on the way. This is now mine, actually. This also makes uh, Sunjian weaker and weaker because uh, the Han Empire is his vassal. So, the more shit we take from them, the better for me. Uh, also, I can... Um, I can support their independence. Now, what exactly does that do? I need to check that. Offer to declare war on the vassal's master provided they to declare war on their soon-to-be former masters. So does that mean I immediately declare war on them on this, on Su Jan, or does it mean that if I were to click or if I were to do this, that um, when I declare war on them, the Han Empire will join me in war against them? Essentially, I'm pretty sure it's the latter, but the way it's for, it's said, it's the former. Like they would, I don't know. To be fair, the Han Empire is really small. This isn't the Han Empire, so I'm not I'm not too worried about the Han. Empire. They've only got literally three provinces left. Never mind. Let's just ignore them. We've got Baxi, and they've got this place and that place, and that's it. So I'm actually, I'm not really worried about that anymore. Okay, so we got this place as well now. Thanks for the place. Um, see, so yeah, I don't know what to do with you. I think I'm going to leave you... That's another wasted army if I leave you here and do nothing with you. Let's send you south. Let's commit to something. If it's the wrong choice, then so be it. I'll uh, deal with it. Uh, you're there. You're sieging that out. What else have we got? Liu Bei is not going anywhere. I guess we'll build some buildings. I'm still trading with you, so that's good. Uh, I'll build the administration office here too. Lu Yang. can build that building. Not really that useful anymore right now. I need to get more of these to get the uh, corruption down. That's the most important thing. As I've said many times now, I think. I also am considering just recruiting another army to make myself appear less weak. Let's get these buildings because it's cheap enough. Um, so maybe maybe next turn I'll recruit another army. Like I'm really worried about this situation here. We're not currently in war with anyone except for the Han Fu. But if we were to get declared war on by Dong Zhou, or sorry not Dong Zhou, uh, Dong Min or whatever the fuck this is at this point, uh, the Kingdom of Zhu anyway. Um, or show. Uh, Kong Rong is his ally, so if he calls Kong Rong into that one, we just get fucked. Uh, yeah, Liu dies as vassal, so we, yeah, we go to war with him too, but that's not too big a deal. Han Fu, we're gonna take him out soon. Kong Rong is the big one, and Zhang Yan, who's also around here, so that would be another enemy, so that would be like kind of alongside Gong Shinzan. That said, Gong Shinzan is not allied to there, uh, he's allied to Zhang Zhang, but. Uh, who we are at war with. Anyway. Let me see if there's anything else I can do. Anyone want to abdicate? <laughs> Alright. Um, I think that's it. I'm besieging there. I think I moved all the armies as far as I can move them. How much would recruiting an army actually be? I mean, currently we can only get her. Everyone else is on assignment, so we could only get her and anyone else who... like We could get some spies in our army, basically, which doesn't really help too much. Um, so it's soon ran and I'd have to bring some people back from assignments, which by the way, we put them on assignment and I'd lost money since then, so that worked out well. Um, also, are they all satisfied or not? 
I, yeah, I mean they are, because otherwise I would have an image here saying they're not satisfied. Yeah, lowest is like 45. That's pretty good, to be fair. All right. There's actual Gongshenzan's army. No war from Kong Rong just yet. Han Fu gonna sell you out. Ooh, that took a long time. Wonder what he's doing there. Oh, okay, this guy's just declared war on me. Okay, he's probably been called in by someone, but. Uh, requested their. Oh! Are we at war with. Yes, I must be. Okay, I'm at war with uh, Sun Jan right now. Well, <laughs> hello, Liu Pingmin. You put your army kind of in the wrong place there. I don't know if you realize this. And they're besieging that. Okay, well, let's hope they take that. And then, actually, no, I guess we at this point we hope they don't take it. Oh, fuck, okay, we're going to be we're at war with like a lot of people all of a sudden. Including the Han Empire. I should have done that fucking thing. All right. They'll still do that. What if I were to do that? Would, we get, would they not be at war with me anymore? You want to unify? Oh, damn. Damn. Damn it all to hell. Um, I'll give you one food for it. How about that? <laughs> Actually, no, sorry. I'm, I'm taking stuff from you. What am I doing? Uh, now I'm good. I'm good with taking nothing from them. Let me just... Start. Okay, am I still at war with them now? I'm, I'm... Wait, I'm trading with him. So I'm no longer at war with them? Oh wait, I was never at war with them. <laughs> they're just, they're orange because, okay, never mind. Fucking hell. What am I doing? Okay, well that's fine. I guess, since we're already at war with him, that doesn't really matter anymore. Our income's gone down even further, I guess because we lost trade. Is there any trade I can get? Probably not. Nope, there isn't. So yeah, our income is getting a little dangerously low, to be honest. Okay, well, let's get you back to... Well, you know what? Uh, I'm gonna just put you here on the border. If and when... Actually, right here, so there's a bridge. If and when Dong or uh, the Kingdom of Zhu declares war on me, and this guy joins in, I'm gonna be fucking ready. I'm gonna be fucking ready. Alright, who the hell are you? Are you former Jia Long as well? Yeah. <laughs> Why is everyone from Jialong? Alright. Fair enough. Um, okay, so we got a battle there, that's for sure. And I guess since we're now at war with Soon, this was the right decision after all. I'm glad I made that. Good choice. Uh, so we're going to do that battle for sure. This army is a bit iffy because I don't like the fact that those are all just kind of around me. I guess we're going to have to just go south and attack. I really wish I could get a piece of you. But it's not gonna happen. Because it's risky. I want to go over here and take their stuff over here, but I also need to make sure I protect myself against this onslaught now, because that's a large faction down there. So I think, first of all, we're gonna just run down this way, go towards Badong. What's what we faster? Currently, it doesn't show me the fucking time it takes to get there. That's one, two, three. Okay, what if I jump in the water? Probably would be faster to go through the water. Yeah, let's go and do that. Stay in my own territory as well, so I don't... Well, actually, that would have been the same there. Um, okay. What else have we got to do? Whoa, what's love got to do? I'm going to recruit another army this turn. Well, saying that, I'm going to recruit Sun Ren. Because I can't afford it. I can't get it. I actually can get this guy, who's currently a governor in here so i it would be it would basically be getting his his garrison out of there but that's okay so we'll recruit him here because i don't trust this situation i don't trust kong rong um i don't trust any of this stuff around here so i guess recruiting a dong or, or taishan doesn't really matter but i'll get it here because i can just go across there as well so we got soon ren and then you're gonna get reinforced by this guy who you like. There's not a lot of people you do. Oh, actually, there's people down here that you do like. And I think I might take him out of that. Um, I'll, I'll stop his uh, thing. Bob. Uh, because they both like him. Yeah, alright. So, 
that assignment's gonna get stopped. So that's you there. Lose a bunch of money from that, but oh well. And then we'll pop him in there next turn. I gotta recruit a couple more units in here, but I'm not too worried about doing that right now. Plus, I don't have the money, so that's fair. Okay. Um, this will make me appear a little bit stronger as well, which is always a good thing. Alright, so you're going down that way. I guess since we're now at war, I could just start attacking down here, for example. Or this way, but I think I'd rather go around this way. Not sure why, but... Um, this is part of my current province, so fuck it. For that reason alone, I'm doing this one. I don't think there's anything in there. Fucking hope so there isn't. If we get, you know, if someone pops out from over here, we can always run back anyway, it's not a problem. Okay, um... Didn't expect this uh, war here, but there it is. See, you're just kind of hanging out. You're going to be hanging out there. Uh, this is going to be a battle. You're going to defend against Jia Long and the new guy. So that's Shi Hui or something. Um, and then, yeah, hopefully we can get peace with someone at some point. Because right now this is a lot of wars to be content with, contending with even. Let's go fucking murder this army here now. Hopefully I can reach them again. Yeah, I should be able to. If they run away, which they didn't even do, so never mind. Oh my god, it's in their favor, that's why. I'm making a night battle. And they're tired, so that should help. We've got fucking... This is this is the squad, boys. This is the squad. Oh, there's a guy in here. It's Yutai. He looks like a legendary character. Uh, okay, so what? why? You've got giant sword guards. you got a whole bunch of saber militia. A couple of spear guards. Yeah, I'm thinking I might want to re replace these guys with um, Jan Sword Guard, simply because of formations. People have been telling me, like, <clears throat> to be fair, these are a lot cheaper, and I am currently not making that much money anymore. Um, but yeah, formations, like, just just because the stats are quite similar doesn't mean that, you know, it's still worth it. These guys do get much more advanced formations. Anyway, uh, three units of Cav as well, so I'm kind of met on Cav, but we have fucking Zhu, Zhao Yun, who I've recently found out is the best you listen to the game, so that's pretty good. Um, yes. We also have them very easily on ranged. We just don't have them on... Oh, and it's snowy as well, which is good, because we, we they're going to come towards me, but they're going to move slower because of the snow. Which means we get to do more Shooty McShootingson on them, which is nice. See, so yeah, a bit of a slow episode so far starting... Took me a while to catch up with everything and... Oh fuck, I forgot to... I didn't replace these two units yet. Ooh, okay. Ooh, I really should be doing that soon. And I think the other army hasn't got them. The one in the east hasn't have got them replaced yet either. Okay, that's something I need to get fixed. I totally forgot I hadn't done that yet on those two. Okay, let's kind of use that rock there. Uh, their cav is... There's one there, one... Okay, they've split them up. That's new. Actually, let's just use the rock by... Let's use this rock, that makes more sense. We'll pop one of you over here. One of these over here. The problem with this is actually that... Okay, I need to do it a little bit differently. Do it like that, so that I can run these guys up to the rock, otherwise it doesn't work. You guys can still just kind of be over here. Uh, and then the big boy catapults. Gonna go on explosive shots. I'm gonna uh, put a couple of you on fire arrows. Some people ask me to, why I don't use fire arrows by default. I'll have a look at the stats in a second. What is your thing again? You got that decreased cooldown and the weight of the wind. Armor piercing and base. Active buff. Range damage. It's pretty fucking sweet. We haven't really we haven't used them a single time in battle yet, have we? Okay, we got the range resistance. I totally forgot about that. Alright, so... Make this formation a little bit shorter. Alrighty then. So yeah, uh, range versus normal shot. So this is 60-47. Let's just take those two. So this is more base damage, but less armor piercing. Which, a uh, pretty large amount as well. And armor piercing is, of course, better than normal. Um, the ranged attack rate is the big one, though. 15 to 6. So, this one fires almost three times faster, the regular shot. And this decreases uh, morale in the enemy, but... 
Four morale isn't really a big deal. In fact, I'm actually just not going to bother putting them on fire arrows at all. It just isn't worth it. The difference between these two actually is just a lot more explosive damage. The attack rate goes down as well, but only by a little bit. Well, it's actually 50% slower, to be fair. Um, but yeah, this does an insane amount of explosion damage on top of the already good damage. Are they not coming towards me? Well, well, well. You fucking pieces of shit. Alright, I guess I'll move up then. Didn't see that one coming, I'm gonna... I've gotta admit, probably have to move a lot more forward than that as well. Not a lot more, a little bit more forward. I would have liked to have sat back here, because they would have had to run up more of a hill. Also, it's not snowy at all. Why did I think it was snowy? Was that, that was last turn, wasn't it? It's spring right now, I guess. Still a night battle though, which means they've got lower morale. Which means my fire arrows might actually be better than I thought they would be. Uh, how much are we going to have to move forward? Just a little bit more, not too much. We're almost going to be in range just from that alone. Also, I keep Leo Bay close and they'll move faster. Okay, we have to move forward just a tad more. Let's go a little bit to the left as well. Come on now! Get yourself shot now. Probably gonna have to kill quite a few of them as well before they even bother. Why are these fucking units all right next to each other? Fire at them, please. Okay, all my formation minus that unit go forward just a tad more. Fuck, this one's only got four experience. Means it's horribly inaccurate. That was a good shot, though. Any hit in these four units will do so well. It's just that... <laughs> it's it. It's fucking missing everything. I really want them to come towards me. Okay, hold on. You have quite a bit of ammo. Also, I wonder, should I use this? Would that affect that unit, too? I don't know. Wait, is it a personal buff? It does... Effect range is... Okay, it's infinite, so I guess it means... No, it, I guess it does mean that everyone gets buffed by it. Ooh, are they moving up? They are moving. Whether it's up or not is a different question. Uh, oh, you're firing. Let me make sure you're firing at the right units in that case. Cavalry is coming around. Um, a little bit dangerous. I'd rather have that unit there as well, but if I, if I had the better units, I would be a lot more satisfied about this. We have two cav as well, though. We should be able to take on those two cav, this, this unit and the two cav. Okay, we're starting to do quite a bit of damage. What's the cooldown on your ability, by the way? In two minutes, I don't want to use that, because... I think it's more important that I make sure to use it with the archers as well. Also, why don't you go challenge someone? Doesn't want to do it. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, we're firing at them too. I'm killing quite a few already, actually. Not bad. Every little bit helps. Because every little bit helps. Oh fuck, stop firing at that unit. Next. Uh, actually, over here, the G Militia. No, not necessarily the G Militia, just anything that has like two units next to each other. I guess just to fire. Well, it's sort of the same or Militia. It's a bit, a bit of a waste, to be honest. Whatever. Ooh, that unit's almost routing already. I think I might have lined you up quite well already. Let's change it slightly. They're going to charge in soon. I need to make sure I'm stationary when they do. I'm stationary when they do. Alright, here we go. Let the firing commence. Okay. Make sure you fire at whomever the fuck you want to fire at. Okay, we're being fired upon, so we can get you guys on front now. You, just go fucking murder these people here. Fucking yes. 
Okay, that did work. Just didn't kill as many units as I would hope, was hoping it would. The other cavs over here as well. Fuck, I didn't notice that. Hey, everyone. Get in here. Didn't really use my cabs effectively yet. Oh, fuck. Hello. Well, alright, we're going in. Not a good charge, but... That one, I definitely should have let them charge in there first, but oh well. Um, okay. Let's go kill that Vanguard. Oh, I totally fucking forgot I had that ability. Well, I got loads of dudes killed for no reason. Nice one. Cavalry. Let's go over here. Let's charge in there, first of all. You go kill their ranged units. We fucking destroyed that cab. That went well. Yeah, you kill him. That's, that's all good. You get over here. The cab units are going to go over here. Let's get you in the back of all this stuff here. Let's get this way. Yeah, you're fucking destroying her. That's good. We got 14 seconds to kill her. We got massive buffs as well. Big old boofs. You've done that. Okay, you did it as well. Now you got massive boofs. I like it. Does the champion not want to duel you? Actually, you want to mount up first. Where's your fucking mount up button? Oh wow, you got, you, did, you, got, you got shot to death. Here's the mount button. There you go. Fucking mount up, friend. Oh fuck, now I dismounted you because he was already going to mount up. Get on your fucking mount. Get on that goddamn mount of yours! I won't tell you again. Kill that unit first because it's almost routing. Okay, jewel the champion or something. I know he's a champion and all, but you're a fucking sentinel and we know that's way better. Kill this guy. This is a fucking easy battle, even though I messed up everything. Forgot to use all of my abilities. Uh, okay, let's make sure we kill this shit enough as well. You get in here. Oh, I totally forgot to use my fucking range buff abilities. <laughs> what am I doing? It's uh, we gotta, you know, it's it's been a while since I played. Let's, let's put it, let's put it on that. Gotta get used to using everything again. All right, just kill off whatever you can kill off now. We've done it. This legendary character was fucking useless. Sorry, right, 24 seconds to kill this guy too. Yeah, you... Xiao Yun is pretty good. I think it, that much is clear. And I, I've been to think I've been wasting this army for fucking god knows how long at this point. Just not using it at all. I'm happy now that I'm at war with Soon, so I can actually just attack him. I'm actually legitimately excited about that. There we go. I'm just gonna end it because whatever is left, I can kill anyway. Plus, they're in Force March, but I think in Force March stance, armies don't necessarily die right away. <clears throat> but um. Yeah, this army can go on the offensive now, and it's probably the best army we've got, although I will, before I move out, I will replace these two units at least. Maybe not those six, so I can always do that later, but I need to replace these two with the two better ones. I need a couple anchors. I need a couple units that can actually hold their own for a while. Not have to worry about my infantry being the weak link here. Because if the infantry breaks, the, gen the generals can only do so much. Ooh, we got Zhu Tai. I'd love to employ you, but uh, you won't let me. Got some sweet little armor there. Your friend is Fang Mu. I'm assuming that's the other guy in the army. Who's dead, so. <laughs> uh, he's impeccable, honest, solitary. Ooh, minor satisfaction in this army. That's interesting. Loyal and direct. Ugh, this guy's great. I want to I want to recruit you. Man of many scars. Uh, but I can't. Kill me or release me. These are your only options. Well... Alright then, you leave me no choice. Uh, I... I kinda need money right now as well, but I think 6% or 5% replenishment is just too much to give up. Let's finish them off. Finish him. Well, I'll, I'll take the 600 there, instead of 2%. That was a big, that was a, a good deal. Alright, so you're gonna go... Where, which way are we gonna go, actually? Because there's, situ there's like places like here as well. Do we go on the offensive against him? And just kind of hope there's no Sunjian armies around here? I guess we have you coming in this way. So we can, we can perhaps send you south. I think I'll... 
Because I, I, like, this guy's got to get have armies around here as well. Although, to be fair, there's at Let's least see. one here. I mean, what I did say is, whatever I do, I'm going to recruit those two units Let's before see. I do anything. Can't afford right now, but I think I might be able to cancel a building or two that I maybe just start a building this turn. If I can figure out which ones those might be. I guess I can do it next turn as well. Yeah, that's fine. I need to replenish this turn anyway, so... Um... I'm kind of thinking, if he that manages to take this, he's currently besieging it. If he manages to take that, then I guess I won't have to worry about that anymore, because I'm not at war with him. So let's, um... Let's just go hard on, on him, because if we can get him to abdicate or something... That would save me a lot of trouble. So yeah, we'll go, we'll go to this rice paddy, or maybe even there. Takes less time to get there. Alright. Uh, armies. Who needs a nice piece of armor? You look like you're least armored of everyone, so here you go. Which, were you using this just now, or that? I'm not sure. Either way, you're using that one now. Because you are using... Yeah, you can use that one. Yeah, I said I wasn't going to give those to them, but it's just, it, even though it's not a full-on upgrade, it's still enough of an upgrade. Was this this turn I was going to recruit you? No, that was next turn, okay. So I think we were at the end of this turn in that case. You're hanging out, you're besieging there, yeah, I think this was the end of the turn. Uh, I'd like to, ugh, my income is really fucking shit. I'd like to replace these two units now, but we can do the next turn, in which case I guess I can just spend the rest of my money on building useful buildings. Like, that one building. Actually, if I do that, I won't even be able to recruit. Oh my goodness. Did I just upgrade this one? Nope. That was not the one I was upgrading. It was that one. <laughs> this one takes three turns. Um, I'll cancel both, actually. Just get one of these guys out right now. No, I'm paying upkeep for them as well. There's no reason to. I'll keep the money. Fuck it. Keeping it. Okay. Cool. Uh, let's find out what happens now, because shit's hitting the fan at this point. Fucking hope I haven't forgotten anyone. Alright, no declare word yet from Gongshin Zan. I didn't really check diplomacy enough. She wants peace. Uh, I think I'm happy with that. Also makes us like each other a little bit more. He's my fucking spy still, by the way, but... Good day to you. <laughs> Alright, so we're no longer war with Zhang Zhang. You are moving back for some reason, even though you're... Ooh, that's interesting. I wonder why. Okay, Han Empire... Not joining in on that war. Chia Long. Still haven't seen any of him, his armies yet, so... I don't know. Okay, we got a piece of her. Corrupt official. Siege continues. Oh, in Han Pingya, okay, in Han, Han Fu. So we can get the gates open for five turns for 500 bucks, but I'll be having a gate and stuff. I'm not really worried about that. I'm going to keep sieging him out anyway, so... Because this turn he's going to start taking attrition. So, trades gained cheerful and trustworthy. Uh, ooh, he's my, he, that actually helps with trade influence. That's nice. Oh, that's nice. Uh, we are oath sworn. Good, good. So there's a couple of good trades there. And yeah, the building's is fine. We can get rid of that. Alright, so first of all, I'm going to spend my money on those two units, I think. Well, not first of all. I'm going to hold off just a second to make sure I'm... I'm like, just to see if I've got anything else I could do. I can't trade with her. Speaking... Okay, let me just have a look at all the quick deals. What is there that I can possibly actually do? You might want peace for some reason. What if you were to just demand abdication? No? Alright. Okay, I don't really want peace with you. <laughs> he doesn't want to trade with me either, so that's fair. Alright, so never mind that. Uh, no non-aggression packs, no military access, no one wants to be my vassal. Uh, yeah, there's nothing we can currently do. That said, we have 32 food I could possibly trade away. So anyone I'm not currently giving food to, I should probably give food to. You... Oh yeah, that's another thing people kept telling me as well. Like, don't give out too much food because you'll see. And I, I already found this out as well, of course. You can see the difference is... Like, huge. The first couple of points give like one and a half each, one and a half. There, it gave 0.7 already. It's met, like, that's. It's like from this. From two to three is one and a half, and from three to four is only 0.7. So you can see already see it's like a massive reduction in how much value you get out of it. 
and here it's still 0 0.7, 0 0.7, 0 0.7, there you go, 0 0.1, massive difference all of a sudden. So let me just see what I can get out of him, because he, I believe, didn't want to give me too much money every time I asked him. Yeah, starting on 2.8 and going up by 2.2 per thing is just not, he doesn't have any money to give me. Um, we already took his territory, so there's nothing else I can take from him. So yeah. Um, so I'm not going to give you any food. Han Empire, I'm not giving you any food right now. You want some food? Holy fuck, yeah, we checked that before. That's just not, that's not gonna, never going to happen. You, would you like peace? Oh, I can get an alliance war, so that would hit, be him joining as well. Um, is that helpful to me? What's, what was the other option again? Of she, hui? Request allied support. I can also just ask him to help me, and he does that too. Okay. Um, sure. Probably makes us like each other more, right? Alright, okay, that didn't really help me. You, do you want food? I got some food for you. If you want that. There you go, from like... Yeah, that's that's the big step right there, from 0.7 to nothing. Uh, no, fuck, stop pressing make regular payments request. Ugh, that's not gonna be anything either, is it? Uh, that's not bad. It's not a lot, but it's not terrible. I mean, it's pretty terrible. Two, 210 or something. Okay, never mind. Let's hold off on that one for now. I'm not that desperate to give away my food. Zhang Yan. Uh, we got Liu Dai, I suppose. You've already got food, not from me, though. Oh god, you don't want food, okay. I mean, he's got loads of food, so I guess that makes sense. You, how much food do you need? And how much are you gonna give me for it? There you go. Uh, I will take some money. Oh my god. Does no one have any money anymore? Yeah, I, I have heard about the... Um, um, the ter trading territory thing that people like people were taking uh, China by uh, like selling food basically they um, you give someone food and then you take in return their food producing provinces so you get more food they get less food and then over time you just get more and more provinces and it's just like a snowball you take the entirety of China just by giving everyone food essentially uh, is anyone gonna give me some fucking money for this? You're about to give me my food back. You're about to give me my food back. Han Fu, I'm at war with. Jia Long, I'm at war with. So there's not a whole lot of people I can give food to. You are in a I massive food deficit, so you might actually value this quite highly. Yeah, I mean, every step here is quite big. The thing is, he's gonna declare war on me anytime fucking soon, isn't he? So, do I just take six grand from him now? Do I take it in bits? Do I take um, a little bit over time and a little bit right away? Well, that looks like a pretty good deal, actually. Oh, I had it there. Um, so five grand right now and then 441 over time. That's probably not a bad idea. Okay, there, right there is like the big step. There. Okay, so let's just min-max this a little bit. I'm not too worried about the relations with him anymore. He's going to declare war on me soon. So I get 5 grand and 423 over 10 turns for 60 or for 10 food. Pretty good deal. He's still on deficit food. I should have maybe given him more food. I didn't really check that. Um, oh, well. So I think that's that's a pretty good deal. I'm not too worried about it uh, anymore. Gong Shinzan, I'm still giving you food. I think I checked that all already. So I got a whole bunch of people I can give food again to next turn. So that's all fair. Zheng Zhang would give me like 221 for a little bit. I guess, fuck it. We don't need the food. Where's the big gap here? There. That one. So give me... Uh, whatever it was, 220 something. Yeah, 208 for sure even. Alright. Cool. Done some diplomacy. Wait, what? Oh, right, 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 I did do that. <laughs> I was like, wait a sec. Wait, what's this? Kingdom of Wu and... and oh, okay, right, right. He, okay, because that's his vassal. It's like, what the fuck? Did I just declare war on him? Like, no way. Uh, He declared war on the Han Empire. Wait, hold on, I didn't do that. 
I didn't. I'm not a war of him. Why are you a war of him? Okay, I don't know. Uh, okay, well, our income's still fucking trash. We've got loads of money now, so I guess we'll, we'll, we'll just do, do these units now just to get it done. And again, I am considering upgrading them to them, but again, it's from 60 to 185, so what I could do, though, is just like upgrade two of them, just so I have a couple in the middle that can hold the line a little bit better. That might not be a bad idea. Let's do that. Let's upgrade the two over here. That one and that one. It's going to look kind of odd, but if I grab six units like that, then this, these ones should be the ones in the middle, I imagine. Actually, I'm not sure if that's true or not. Let's just get the first two. Fuck it. Then it definitely won't work. Yeah, whatever. Could also just upgrade three of them, but... Well, it's done now. Um, you're done now. Okay, so you're going... I guess, I, I don't know, I kind of want to shadow this army as well. Are oh, they taking attrition now? Okay, so even if they were to declare war on me, they get kind of fucked very quickly. That's owned by him now. Okay, well, I guess you can just go across here. Okay. Yeah, and we just attack, we attack that next turn. Did I move you at all next last turn? I totally forgot. I guess, yeah, you, you had room movement set up already, so probably. Alright, I'll take the salt mine. That is... Uh, delegated. Low, low losses should be okay. 600 men lost. Yeah. Like the faster we take, or the more, well, not necessarily faster, but the more area, or like towns we take from him, the more likely he'll abdicate, or at least... Um, sue for peace. That is much better, but I don't want that weapon on you. I need that on a champion, which I don't really have. Uh, you, yeah, definitely going for charge speed. Although that, no, I don't care about final rush that much. Okay. We have a reform. That's the good one. Right here to increase our income by probably about a thousand or so. Ew, we're still in 3710. That's horrible. That's just horrible. Uh, require resources to function properly. Resource shared across. What the, f what the fuck are you talking about? What does this mean? Okay. I don't, know. I don't understand what this means. Require resources to function properly. Oh, wait, did I. It requires. T. Did I lose T somehow? I don't think I ever lost any resource. I didn't lose any towns, did I? Wait, it's a tea house. What does a tea house require T? I guess because it's not... Okay, I don't know. I don't know. Um, but I guess I don't have tea anymore. Somehow. I don't know how that happened, but I, I lost my tea. My tea! Uh, okay. Right, you are going here. Do I want to replenish for one more turn? Uh, I guess if I go to this town, I can replenish for one more turn. But I think I'm okay. I'm just gonna go for this one. I get that armor craft. I'm gonna get my random armor pieces coming in every once in a while. Okay, we still got a bunch of money. I was I cancelled this building and then the one in some other place as well. This one here. Nope. Nope. Sure, upgrade this. Um, I definitely, okay, I definitely need to recruit this army here, though. This guy. Let's just get him in right now. Yeah, we can afford to do that, at least. Can I afford to replace these guys with units that are actually going to be used? Nope, I cannot. That's alright. Okay, well, at least this army is nearing completion already. You have that, oh yeah, I yeah, stole that bow from someone else for you. Uh, you don't really want a fucking John, do you? But we got nothing better for you, so you have to deal with it. We've already got that. We have no followers to give anyone. Got resolve, but we don't need resolve. That's the one you have, okay. Alright, so I got nothing to give you guys right now. But that's okay. Okay. Uh, you. Yeah, you're just doing nothing right now, because I'm kind of preparing for this war, which means I've got another army doing, yeah, essentially nothing, just kind of sitting around doing fuck all. Um, how much would it take to get to Dong? 27% left over. I wonder if I'd be able to reach this place in a single turn. It takes 
23%, so it looks like I should be able to reach that in a single turn from Dong. So let's just assume... Oh my goodness. Fucking party over here gathering. I don't know if I trust that shit. Uh, you need to be moved, right? Yes, I actually do need to do that one. So I think you are going to start sailing down the river. Yeah, okay, hold on, let's land, because I don't know exactly what's here, and I don't want to be caught in Force March stance in the water, because there's nothing we can do to change the outcome of that battle at that point. Alright, so you're stationary, you're besieging, you're the one who's just being recruited right now. So that's all fine and dandy. I got a couple more buildings I could build, apparently. It's just that this thing, yeah, I guess we lost T somehow. I don't know how that happened, but we did. Can't really do anything about it right now, though. Yeah, three more notifications. I lost T here, too. Spice. Oh, shit, from trade, of course. Alright, well, that sucks. Did I lose more things like that? No, this is just an upgrade I can do. Alright, well, we haven't got the happiness for that one. And I lost shit here, too. Alright, so I gotta get my fucking resources back. That's the point that it's trying to tell me. That's fine. We'll just take all our towns and then that'll give me the resource back, right? Alright. Let's fucking move on. What shit hit the fan this turn? Oh, here we go. There's an army in there now. I'm not fully replenished there. Alright, you better fucking go all the way back home. And Oh, shit. He's on the way to attack as well. Is he gonna sally out now? or is it... Nope, he's gonna take the attrition. Alright, fair enough. Fair enough. Oh, fuck me. Okay. There we go. That's the first Chi Huya army. I'm gonna probably have to lose a town. Uh, Kingdom of Zhu declared war on Ma Tong. Okay, so I guess he's found someone else to fight for now. That's fine by me. We got ourselves an exquisite weapon. Absolutely exquisite war blade. That's pretty good, actually. Don't joke about that shit. Okay, I'm gonna check him next time. Check him! Actually, I'll check him right now. Who the fuck are you? Who are your loyalties to, friend? Kingdom of Wu. Alright, hello, spy. Welcome. Oh, and then Zhu before that as well. <laughs> so, wait, I wonder if he was spying from Wu or from Zhu to Wu. No, so there's a four year difference there. Never mind. Alright. Uh, I need to give out these items, but I'll do that later. Um, in the next episode, that is. Okay, so that's gonna be that for now. Okay, so we're gonna have to deal with this somehow. This is some old ass fucking lady. She's only 52. Why does she look so fucking old in this picture? There's two strategists in there. They're taking attrition as well. This toolmaker, unfortunately, only level 2, so the garrison here is not going to be enough to be able to deal with that. Um, I won't be able to get back there in time, but I might be able to run there in two turns time. Possibly. Um, oh, there's a King or a Jialong army. Okay, so I guess I made the right choice coming here. I can't quite reach it, but I can definitely start catching up to it. Uh, it might also take something, but I'll take it back from him then. But that'll all be next time, so until then, thank you all very much for watching. Until then, have a good day, and goodbye.